And inside the cell are children, 15 and 16 years old. And then there was one nine-year-old. I'm Rubal Husseini. I'm an AFP tax journalist. I covered Syria and Lebanon like eight years until I moved recently to Baghdad as the deputy bureau chief. Syria was the closest to my heart. In 2019, I stayed two months in the desert covering the last battle against the Islamic State group. We saw people flocking from this strip of land near the river. And they were angry, women were angry, children were pissed. There was this group of women that I tried to talk to, but they were pissed, they were like screaming on everyone and they were throwing stone on journalists. One of them held my braid and was like, what is this? And another one was like, why are you wearing pants, like men clothes? And another one came and she was like, I wish I had a suicide belt. I let them vent because they are the only witnesses we had from what is happening inside. I stayed and they started telling me their stories. Every woman I met would ask me, where are they taking us? And I would say, they're taking you to a whole camp. They would ask for how long? I would say, I don't, no, I don't suppose it will be long. Five years later, I'm speaking with the same woman in Al Hol camp. It's a land of children who are not allowed to move behind barriers. No one wants them, no one wants to deal with them. They are left there in limbo. Wars are bombing, there are political statements, but there are also people in between and the children are the most vulnerable. For me, that was the most important part of the story. They are the ones who are paying the price for something that they didn't do. I went back to Syria after the, the battle and I went to visit uh, a prison where the IS uh, suspects are, uh, are kept. And we were talking to people and everything and then all of a sudden we are next to a cell and inside the cell are children. 15 and 16 years old, and then there was one nine-year-old. We don't interview children, but I had to ask him about himself. And when I left, all I was thinking about was, how did I leave him behind? And it kept hunting me for months and months. I grew up in Lebanon. I was displaced as a child myself several times. I know what it means when there is bombing. As journalists, in order to do our job, we must protect ourselves, not only physically when we are covering wars, but also mentally. Mental health is the most important part in order for us, actually, to be able to overcome what we're seeing.